What's up guys, my name is Ace, and it seems like we've reached that point in Call of Duty World War II where a lot of the average players are starting to reach at least their first prestige. Now I know for a lot of the really hardcore players out there, you're probably already into your fourth, fifth, sixth prestige. But at this point, it seems like the average casual player is starting to hit that prestige level, and therefore, one of the most common questions I've been getting asked lately is what should I spend my permanent unlock token on that I get when I prestige? So today, I thought I'd share my top 5 items to spend your permanent unlock token on. So just in case you guys aren't aware of exactly how this works, when you reach level 55 and you prestige a character, you reset yourself back to level 1 and you have to start grinding through and unlocking things again. In COD World War II, when you do this, you get one permanent unlock token. This token can be used to permanently unlock for the rest of the game, you'll never have to worry about unlocking it as you work your way through prestiges, it will permanently unlock one item for you, and you get one of these tokens every single time that you prestige. Now obviously this is a very valuable thing to be having as you're working your way up through prestiges because oftentimes there's something that you don't unlock for a very long time, not until later in the prestige, and if you don't permanently unlock that and you're constantly working through and prestiging your character, you don't really get much playtime with that until you finally stop prestiging. So of course, with this list, we're going to be focusing on things that you earn a bit later on in the prestige. It doesn't really make sense to be using a permanent unlock token on something that you unlock at, let's just say, level 10, because all it takes is a few games and you're already at level 10 and you would have had it unlocked anyways. So generally, anytime I make these lists, I focus on things that are unlocked at least halfway through your prestige. And keep in mind, the way that Call of Duty levels work, going from level 1 to level 2 is completely different than going from level 54 to 55. You need a lot more XP per level as you go up in level, and therefore the halfway point on your prestige is not level 27 and a half. It's actually more like level 40, or right around that level 40 area. So generally, I wouldn't be considering anything less than level 40 for this, because anything that's unlocked before level 40, you actually have access to for greater than 50% of your gameplay time as you're going through prestiges. Of course, there is room for exceptions for this, for things that you really, really want on all of your classes for like 100% of your gameplay time, and we will see one exception as we go through the list, but that's enough of all this explaining stuff, let's get right into the list. Keep in mind, this list is in no particular order. First up, this should come as no surprise to you guys, the BAR. The BAR is one of the most powerful guns in the game at the moment, and it's unlocked at level 52. So therefore, if you're not spending a prestige unlock token on this, you're spending like 90% of your gameplay time without access to the most powerful gun in the game, or what's arguably the most powerful gun in the game right now. So if you haven't unlocked the BAR yet with a permanent unlock token, I would highly recommend that you do so. Next up, we're actually going to be sticking within the rifle category and going with the FG-42. This is also an excellent weapon that I really enjoy using. It's great for those longer ranges, definitely better than the BAR at those longer ranges. And this one's unlocked at level 45, so not quite as late as the BAR, but it's still relatively late in your prestige, and therefore it is a great choice to be using an unlock token on. Next up is that one exception I was talking about, where this one is actually technically unlocked before the halfway point on your prestige. This is Primed. Primed is, without a doubt, one of the best basic training skills in the game. If you're a competitive player, at the moment, it's currently pretty much a must-have. Although I will say that they are going to be nerfing Flinch soon. They have a patch in the works, although it might not come in the next patch. It looks like it's going to be coming after the first MLG event, but they are nerfing Flinch in this game. Just in case you guys didn't know, Prime does reduce your flinch, as well as give you an extra attachment on your weapon, which is a great bonus. But the primary reason a lot of people are using it at the moment is that flinch reduction, because it's helping you in pretty much every face-to-face -face gunfight. And the reason I chose this, and it is a bit of an exception, is just because it's so powerful that I feel like you should have access to this 100% of the time, and not just for, let's just say, 60% of your prestige. Moving on to number 4 on my list, we're getting back into the weapons here, and this is the M1928 Thompson. Now this SMG seems to be a bit on the polarizing side, some people love it, some people really don't like it at all, and this is something where you're definitely going to have to use your own judgement and you have to look at your personal preferences, but this weapon is unlocked at level 48, which is quite late in your prestige, and if you want to have access to it at all times, I'd recommend using a permanent unlock token. So finally, once again, we're going to be choosing a weapon. This is in the sniper category. It's the M1903 Springfield. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say this is the best sniper rifle in the game. I do feel like the Car 98K currently is a better sniper rifle. But having said that, this is unlocked at level 41, which is somewhat late in your prestige. It's definitely past that half waypoint. And honestly, I just couldn't think of anything that was much more important than this to permanently unlock. So I'm going to go with the 1903 Springfield. 
and that's something that I found really interesting while going through this list. In the previous years with Call of Duty, I could easily make a top 10 list for things that you should permanently unlock. But in this game, they've limited things so much, and they've also consolidated perks into the divisions, and those divisions don't reset when you proceed your character, they only reset when you proceed your division, so there's no permanent unlock tokens for those. Basically what's happening here is we have one basic training skill we can use, and let's be honest, for most people, you probably are only using maybe three to five of those basic training skills at any given time. And then aside from that, it's basically just weapons and score streaks. And in this game, the score streaks are pretty underwhelming, and for the most part, people tend to stick to the lower score streaks that you have basically unlocked right from the get-go anyways. So it was actually pretty difficult this year to come up with this list for these permanent unlock tokens. And you can see this as a good thing or a bad thing. On the bright side, this means that you don't really feel like you're missing out on a ton of great content as you're going through your prestiges. But then on the other end of that, it feels like there is a lack of content to be had as you're leveling up. Now one big tip before we wrap up this video that I wanted to share with you guys so you guys don't make the same mistake that I did. I actually did this on a live stream and it was really embarrassing that it happened. When you first prestige your character, have it in your mind what you want to be using your permanent unlock token on and use that permanent unlock token the moment you prestige. The mistake that I made is I held on to my permanent unlock token because I hadn't really made my mind up at that point what I wanted and I just wanted to keep playing so I kept playing, I started leveling up my character a little bit and I wanted to change my score streaks. At the time I assumed that I had reached the level I needed to get the fighter pilot unlocked and I thought yeah let's pop that on the class, I haven't used the fighter pilot in a little bit. I went to use one of my regular unlock tokens, the ones that you get every time you reach a new level in the game. I went to use one of those, assuming that I had already reached the level required to have the fighter pilot unlocked, and it turns out I actually ended up using my permanent unlock token to get that. The game didn't really give me one of those screens It was like, are you really sure you want to spend your permanent unlock token on this? And then it defaults to no, so you have to actually actively select yes. I basically just said, I want that fighter pilot, and then I hit X a bunch of times, and it spent my permanent unlock token, and I completely wasted it on the fighter pilot. So don't make the same mistake I made. When you prestige, know what you want to permanently unlock and use that permanent unlock token immediately. So there we have it. That's going to wrap it up for today's video on my top five things to use permanent unlock tokens on in World War II. So I'd like to know from you guys. Is there something that you think I missed or just something that you personally prefer to use a permanent unlock token on that wasn't on my list? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, a like writing is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.